Today we're getting a look inside a St. Paul High School that's been making headlines for disruptive student behavior. Today I had a chance to sit down with the principal of Como Park Senior High School and a behavioral specialist at the school to talk about the challenges students are facing in and out of school. There was a series of fights among students earlier in the school year and a little more than a week ago, two Como students were charged with assault after being accused of punching a teacher. There are young people that walk through these halls and they wear those emotions on their sleeves. And those emotions will sometimes resonate sadness. Um, those emotions will sometimes res resonate frustration or anger. Principal Teresa Neal says this school year has heightened everyone's awareness that many teenagers are in crisis. I certainly think our teachers are very mindful of the needs of our children. Um, sometimes our teachers may feel very overwhelmed in terms of what can we do for them. So you passing up a meal there, right? Yeah. yeah. Donnell Gibson is a behavioral specialist at Como Senior High. It's his job to talk to students and help them handle conflict. We're starting to deal with kids that are now raising their self. So when you raise yourself, the, the standards of respect and the standards of what's common respect is is not there anymore. He says the behavior in school is often a reflection of what's going on outside of school. We have people that are continuously getting um, touched or disrespected or just forgotten about because we deal with a, a area where the parent haven't been healed. They haven't even been addressed their problems. So the kids are dealing with that. He says he sees a growing disconnect between students and teachers, leaving each side feeling misunderstood. How do we build those relationships with our students to better understand our students, to meet them where they're at? In addition to a behavioral specialist, Como Senior High has a cultural specialist, three social workers, several guidance counselors, and community members who supervise the hallway and cafeteria activity. Now, the need for more behavioral specialists and social workers and psychologists was a big part of the most recent contract negotiations between the St. Paul School District and the Teachers Union. The district agreed to hire more staff to help with school climate.